For almost 60 years, the Orange Bowl was played in a no-frills, city-owned stadium located not far from a bus depot. And since 1996, it has been played in an upscale home near a turnpike. It isn't the granddaddy of them all, but it has heart. It gives you a seat, a field, two goalposts, and says, go ahead, make some history. And man, has some beautiful history been made in this bowl game. Brady, Bowden, and the Bear. Rogers, Rocket, and Royalty. Tommy, Tua, and going for two. First ever national championship of the Hurricane. Clemson won its first national championship here. So did Osborne, Stoops, and Schnellenberger. It is here that Namath played his last college game and Parsegian coached his last Notre Dame game. The Irish are national champions. Ward, Watts, and Watson. Sims and Selman. The list goes on and on. And long may the Orange Bowl, too. So why not another little slice of history in the Capital One Orange Bowl tonight where you have guys who've won national championships squaring off against each other. Only a half dozen active head coaches have won titles. Mac Brown won one in Texas leading North Carolina and he will face Jimbo Fisher who won one at Florida State now coaching Texas A&M. Always a pleasure to talk to the head coach of the Aggies, Jimbo Fisher. Uh, Jimbo, glad to have you with us. Uh, I know that there was some disappointment in Texas A&M quarters from not making the college football playoff. How has your team responded to that in preparation for North Carolina? Been great. We've had great practices. And, you know, at the time of the announcement, we're disappointed. We had a meeting about 30, 30, 45 minutes afterwards, and guys were happy, excited. We know we were going to the Orange Bowl, lined up, and have had great practices and great enthusiasm since. In terms of what you feel like can be accomplished by winning this game, what it would say about your season, what do you say is at stake for the Aggies? Well, I think, it, you know, you're talking about making yourself relevant. you got to be relevant in the national picture and be up there consistently and understand how to play in big-time environments, big-time games. This is another step toward that. We had some great games. And in the SEC, you're always playing big games, but you're playing bowl games and you're playing a major New Year's Six game. The last time A&M was here was 77 years ago. And, uh, you know, it's a great accomplishment for these seniors and this whole team. So just keep taking the next step forward and developing the culture in which we want. Uh, in terms of doing that and developing the culture, how would you describe what Kellen Mond has meant to you trying to establish your fingerprints and your culture at Texas A&M? Well, I think, you know, when you, you have trials and tribulations. And we didn't win as many as we wanted to in the beginning, but he's, he's grown his development. Development, his work ethic. He set a tone for our guys and our whole senior class has that we just keep striving. Don't you know people doubt you, people question you, whatever it may be. When you're young, you just keep playing and you persevere, and they've all done that. And that whole class, not just Kellen, but the whole senior class has done that. And he's been one of the guys that's out front doing it. But you know, setting the culture for how you work and for, to set a tone for these young guys of what to expect going in the future. It's sort of the nature of the beast in college football these days. North Carolina has a few dynamic players who won't mm -hmm. play. But Sam Howell will, uh, being the quarterback yeah. guru that you are, as you've watched him, uh, what are your impressions of Sam Howell? Listen, I mean, that guy, is his arm is dynamic. His feet are dynamic. He's so athletic. He can make every throw on the field. He understands big moments, and he's brought them back. The thing is, his biggest game has come when they've really needed it, when they've been in shootouts or those close games or not blowout games guy plays big moments I think he's super talented can get the ball all over the field he's not only gonna have a great college career he's gonna have a super pro career in my opinion Jimbo as your team gets ready to take the field to, to wrap up this 2020 season what will be your final message to them you know to finish what you started listen what these kids have in, in a year of this pandemic social injustices all the things that these guys have done and overcame and then to do it at the highest level. I think there's great lessons to be learned for these guys for the rest of their life about how they can persevere through things and still get their job done, still function in life and do the things they have to do. And to not let up now, hit the accelerate, finish, leave this team with, with a great impression, leave the, the future guys here, what to expect and the way we want to do things. This is the standard in which we set and to go play your tails off. Jimbo, I know that uh, since you've been there that you guys don't play Texas right now, but uh, I'm sure Aggie Nation, <laughs> some of the fans have let you know they wouldn't mind a victory against Mac Brown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they that, that is kind of ironic. 
the first major yeah. game, and, and Mac gets Texas A&M, and we get Mac. Isn't that, isn't that kind of ironic? So, you know, it's going to be a great game. And Mac's done a tremendous job. I mean, to get to get North Carolina that quick there when he took that program over, we're going to have to have a heck of a game tonight. It should be a great ball game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.